Reverb. No reverb. Reverb. No reverb. The difference reverb makes to audio is obvious. It adds a feeling of space. It gives the listener the impression that the recording is from an ambient room. And the more reverb and the later the delay, the bigger the room will feel. But what do you do if you're working on an acoustic composition that's going to be played in a dry environment? Well, there are a couple of composition techniques we can use to create an artificial feeling of ambience. One potential candidate is the use of low frequencies. Soft, low drone frequencies at the bottom end of the audible spectrum convey a feeling of large, deep ambient space and can be very effective in sound design when placed in the background behind other sparsely spaced sound objects. This effect can also be used in acoustic composition if you have instruments that are low enough. An age-old example of this is the use of soft bass drum tremolo to add light background rumbling to a piece. This background resonance effect can also be attained by pitched instruments such as by using soft sustained contrabass. Here's an example from the composer George Crumb titled A Haunted Landscape. There is, however, a slight problem with this, and that is that this drone is very tonal. The piece might come across as having a pedal tone underneath the material. If you want a more ambiguous low resonance underneath the material, if you're working with large ensemble or orchestra, a better option would be to use a low cluster. This gives you an indiscriminate low ambience that doesn't tie the music down to a concrete tonal center. You can also create a low resonant rumble using the lowest register of the piano. For a finer effect, in the past, composers like Ligeti, for example, have used different types of percussion mallets on the piano strings for more diversity in the color of their background rumble. An additional, much more straightforward option is to use a medium or large sustained tam-tam or gong. This here is a spectrogram of a large tam-tam and it shows what overtones are inside of the tam-tam sound. The spectrogram shows that it's full of very close frequencies and therefore has a beautiful lush resonance. The instrument is exciting so many frequencies it's as if the air is just pulsating chaotically with sound waves and this again gives the listener the impression of wide open space or a large ambient room. An example of this can be found in Luciano Berio's Sinfonia where he at the very beginning of the piece uses three different sized tam-tams.
Now when it comes to these cluster-like sounds, we can also implement this in higher registers. A soft suspended cymbal has the same effect as the tam-tam, simply with a smaller resonant body and therefore produces a higher cluster of sound. Now this is fine, but you can add color to it and enhance it by combining it with similar effects from other instruments. For example, a high cluster produced by string flashlights. Now really, all of this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many other instrumental combinations that you could use, but the principle is always relatively similar. By creating a light white noise wash of background frequencies, we can induce that feeling of ambient space. Now in the world of purely acoustic composition, another obvious technique is to use instruments that are highly resonant. Harp, gongs, vibraphone, crotales, tubular bells, triangles. There are countless instruments, most of them percussion instruments, that are capable of resonating for a long period of time. Now you don't actually need that many notes to be resonating in this way to create a feeling of space. Even just one or two resonant notes in the background might be more than enough. And even if you only have a piano, there are some pretty cool resonant sounds that can be made. Obviously piano has a sustain pedal which allows you to create a wash of frequencies in all registers, but most grand pianos also have an additional sustain pedal called a sostenuto pedal, which is a stupid name because sostenuto just means sustain in Italian, but in any case, the sostenuto pedal allows you to sustain specific notes on the piano while other notes played at the same time aren't affected. If you have some notes sustained with the sostenuto pedal, these notes will lightly resonate in the background when you play the non-sostenuto piano notes. Now it is definitely worth thinking about these things, particularly if you're going to have your compositions performed live. Even today you frequently come across concert venues with rubbish acoustics, and so unless you want that dryness of sound in your composition, it's definitely worth playing around with some of these instrumental sounds and learning to write in such a way that's acoustically forgiving to those sorts of venues.